Howdy everyone. Looks like my microphone's coming through. Uh, well, welcome everybody. Did uh, FSG already wrap up? Looks like uh, everybody's piling in. Great to have everybody here tonight. I tell you, it's been a it's been a, a good string of live streams today. So I'm hoping we can make it one more. And boy, we got a lot of shout outs here. We got Farmer Ed Gaming, Paul Wright, Steel Horse, how are you? Big Mac, Cranky, good to see ya. We got Charles Durbin in the house, Mark Thor. We got Mark, uh, the other Mark, hey, Morn Thrate. I'll never know how to pronounce your last name, I'm sorry. We got Yun Chow, Argzy Gaming, how are you, mate? Enjoyed your stream earlier today. Norway Pete, how are you? Big Mac? And there's FSG. Thanks for the raid, mate. Um, enjoyed your stream as well. And uh, I'm looking forward to season two of, uh, of Wyoming. So that, that's going to be good. All right. Uh, so as you may know, I've been doing some live streams on my save games, and um, this is the last one. I think this is number six or maybe number seven, but we're on Deer Creek tonight. Um, and let me just make sure I'm caught up with Chad here. Uh, awesome. Okay, we got some more people. Krogmos... Andy H, welcome in. Marky Wings, awesome. Great to have you here. So, uh, this is a good sized map with good sized fields. Um, I know, sorry, I've got some echo going on. There we go. Um, I know Argzy did some uh, streaming on this map as well as some um, uh, series. I think FSG may have as well. Uh, I started this map right after it came out, and what I did, I set a challenge for myself. So let me pull up the map here. So it is a huge map with huge fields, and I set a challenge for myself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Farmer, we definitely don't want any echo again. Uh, yeah, I nipped that in the bud. Uh, Discord is nowhere to be seen <laughs> today. Uh, but yeah, I set a challenge for myself on this map to see if I could harvest 2 million liters of each arable crop that, uh, as it's held in the silo. So let's, here's the silo. And, uh, this is a, a special silo because it has a corn dryer and it's actually set up as... A, um, a production site so you can go here and you see the production chains and then you see all of the different grains so my goal was to do two million of each of these what is that eight grains and then over here you can kind of see my progress um and it has been a while since i've uh played this i'm gonna say it was probably May or June was the last time I played this. And I got close um, as far as hitting my 2 million liter um, challenge. So for corn, I got there. I got just over 2 million. In fact, I actually dried it out into dry corn because you can do that um, on this map. Uh, oat, I'm almost there. Uh, like 1.5 million. Soy, uh, sunflowers, I'm close, 1.4 million. Soybeans, 1.1. 1 .1. And then it, and then it gets a little more of a reach. Wheat, I'm just under a million. Barley, I've got a ways to go. Canola, I'm at 8.30. Sorghum at 8.32. So I was really hoping maybe there was an outside chance that I could like get to 2 million for all of these. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that on this stream, but I tell you what, we're going to try. Um, we're going to do a little uh, non-realism, <laughs> so uh, to help us out, um, I'll show you what I've got. Well, since I'm in in it, I'll show you right now. This trailer I have will hold six hundred thousand liters of whatever we put in it. So 
That's nice. Fewer trips to the silo. And let me speed up a little bit. Here's equipment we have so far, and we may have to go buy some more, and that's fine. But I've got four harvesters. They are set up, I believe they will hold 300,000 liters each. So a little bit more than usual. Um, I've got two set up with corn headers, and I've got two set up with grain headers. Um, we're also going to use the real vehicle speed just so we can get around the fields a little bit quicker. Paul Wright, welcome in. Um, yeah, uh, including myself, we were in FSG's uh, uh, stream earlier, but uh, yeah, good that we've got you here as well. So we're going to use these uh, monstrous harvesters, and let me show you what I have set up. So just so we've got a lot to harvest, I did go into Easy Dev Tools and set up, what is this, the six biggest fields um, ready to harvest. And what we've got in field one, we've got canola. So we need to, we need to, I think we'll, we may get to 2 million uh, in canola if we harvest this field. We'll see. And then uh, field two, we've got sunflowers. Field three, we have, uh, that's barley. Four and five, we have sorghum. And six, we've got wheat. Um, all right, let's see, who's in trouble? Ed, you're in trouble? Or Mark Thor, are you in trouble? <laughs> so that's, that's what we have to work with. Um, what I'm gonna do is we'll double up on harvesters for these fields. Uh, we'll, we'll get going in field one and field two. Uh, we'll put the, the grain headers over here, the corn headers over here. We'll use course play and we'll get that set up. And then if things are running smoothly, I may go buy some additional harvesters and just get set up on field three. And we'll see how many, we'll see how many of these harvesters we can get going. And uh, no, we, no, uh, Andy H, we are not gonna bail anything. <laughs> that would be, uh, that would be crazy. But I appreciate the challenge. Okay. Let's get a course set up. Let's see, I don't think I have a folder opened yet, so let me do that. I lost all my courses when I moved over to my new PC because I forgot to copy the courses folder over, but not a problem. All right, let's make a new course. Also, uh, there was an update. This is like version two now of this map and I was playing version one. I had to update my map because version one would not even load, uh, would not even launch the game. So I updated it. And I, I think I lost some of my field edits that I did, but that's okay. We'll be all right. So we're gonna do two tools. Let's do, that'll be plenty of headlands since running multiple tools. We'll start work on the headland, smooth clockwise, 7%. That all looks good. Let's see, should we do lands? Let's do lands. And we'll do, we'll do five rows per land. That should be enough. Let's see what that looks like. So hopefully we don't break course play. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have four combines running and I'm hoping that we'll have more. Let's see uh let's see what we can do. Lands makes you sad, FSG. What makes you sad about it? <laughs> the good thing about them is I think it minimizes collisions with the harvesters and also it makes um offloading a little easier. Does that look like lands? I guess it does. Okay. 
It keeps the pipe on the outside all the time. Right. It does it that. So we are left. We're going to go first waypoint. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and save this course because we're going to need we're going to need to anyway. This is field one. And this is multi harvest. That'll work. Lands for life. Argsy, I, I I believe that you're a you're pro lands. Kind of like myself. I I use it on occasion. Oh, let's see. And we're gonna implement real vehicle speed and we're gonna want, let's put a, I think I can control the speed here. Here it is. Um, that might be a little bit fast. Let's go, let's go to, let's start there. Let's try that. There's a t yeah, that is a good t-shirt slogan, FSG. <laughs> I like that. I would buy that shirt. Okay, let's see if this works. And let's see how fast he's going to go. I'm going to change my... I'm going to change to miles per hour. I was recording a Ridabu series, so I've got everything in like hectares and KPH and all that good stuff for Europe. Um, here it is. Dollars, miles, Fahrenheit, acres. Gotta go and save the game. Keeping your pipe on the outside. <laughs> Yeah, I think a combo of both would be good, Argzy. All right, that seems to be working okay. Let's uh, let's go get our next one. So this is the last save game of mine that we for us to live stream on. And so you like that dirt FSG? I know I knew you would. We'll buy some new harvesters. It'll be all shiny, so we'll 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 make Argzy uh happy as well. Um what was I saying? Oh yeah, so this is the last of our series, and I was thinking about what to do either start a new series, and if so, what would that be? One option I'm thinking about is um, maybe pick the, sa the save game that people have the most interest in and maybe seeing a longer uh, live stream series on. Like, for example, if you guys really like Deer Creek, we could just continue on this one. Um, but I've got six others. Um, I may run a poll and see, you know, if we want to do that, and if so, which one. Um, that's an option. And then after that, I think it's just kind of wide open. Um, I've got just some other ideas, but I think I'll start with that, see what interest there is. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and start thinking here and make sure we've got things set up here. Let me set my speed for this guy. Because I don't think they're, it's a, that's a global setting. It is not. I think we were, what, at 18-ish? Something like that. I think we're around there. Oh, this is miles per hour now. I'll tell you what, let's just go back and see what it is. I want them running about the same speed. Okay, this is we need to we need to speed this guy up. We're gonna go 13. 
go 13, we'll turn on 6, and we'll reverse on 4. Real vehicle speed, that would be useful on Western Oz MP server. Yes, it would, Mark. Any large map that comes in handy. Okay, now, I, I, so 13 and 5 and 4. Uh... And we can speed these up more. I just don't want to get too crazy. Uh, 13, 5. That's what we got. Okay, I'm going to save the game again. All right. Let's get this guy going. There he goes. Wow, he had to think a while. He's looking okay. Do you guys remember, like in the FS19 version of course play, in this little uh, the little mini map on the uh, screen, it would show an estimated time for completion, and it doesn't show that anymore. I mean, it does show how many waypoints you have and where you are, but I don't know. Is there a is there a uh, a way to show the estimated time? I just haven't found it. FSG says just scrap them when they get too dirty and buy new ones. <laughs> hey, when you're cheating, you know, it's all play money. So I guess you could. All right. Let's get this started up. This is field two. Uh-oh, we've got a tractor in the middle of the field. There he is. This game is literally exactly how I left it. <laughs> so I've got tractors strewn everywhere. You know me, I don't really keep a very tidy farmyard. Okay. Let's get back over. Okay. Um. That's field two. Get this guy started up. All right, uh, we'll do multiple tools. We'll do two headlands, start work on headlands, smooth clockwise, 7%, lands. You know what, FSG? We'll do up and down for you. How's that? Make you, <laughs> does that make you happy? <laughs> uh, let's see what that does. <laughs> oh, that's... That's a nasty angle. Um, oh, I see it's it's using this flat here. I guess we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And then let's save. Field two, multi, corn harvest. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Argzy. If you haven't yet, um, would really appreciate uh, if you could drop a like on this video. It really helps me out, helps the channel out. I mean, assuming you're enjoying things, but uh, would appreciate that. And um, if you haven't subscribed, um, take a look at what else I have going on on my channel. I've got a couple other series going on, and uh, so you can subscribe. That way you won't miss anything. Uh, I've got everything loaded. Okay. 
Oh yeah, we need to uh, get him going fast. So there's real speed, and then let's go set his harvest speed. You know, I think I like that 15 miles, miles per hour. I think I'm going to bump up the other guys too. We'll do that. Yeah, I don't know that I want to go any faster than that. So a few of you were a part of my live stream I did. I believe it was Wednesday. And uh, I had a bit of a technical snafu. Fortunately, it was almost at the very end of my live stream. Um what i had done and not noticed what i had done so i had accidentally clicked inside of my discord page on a link for my live stream and it was like an inadvertent click so i didn't know i'd done it and so i started getting this echo like two second echo and then it started growing obviously so i i quit out of uh discord what i didn't know is that all it does is minimize any video that's been playing and so now i can't even find it to close it so Long story short, I ended up just uh, ending the live stream early, about 15 minutes early. Anyway, hopefully got a good laugh out of it. I did clean up what what is uh, on my channel. So if you go watch it again, it'll just end before that goes, just so people don't see my, the error of my ways. But if you really want to see it, go in the description of that live stream. You can click on a link, and it's a clip that Mark Thor set up that shows the portion of where that was all the shenanigans was going on and then i think you can actually see the entire video from there if you want oh okay we've got some requests here argsy let's see maybe graystone or old stream farm argsy so th those are your votes for uh a future live stream continuing live stream i tell you what i don't know if i could decide myself because I mean, they're obviously my favorite games. They're the games I already played. And uh, I would have a hard time picking them. So I'm going to let you guys help me out with that. Okay, so we're going to go right. We're going to go first waypoint. Let's set our speeds. That's good enough. And let's do real speed, real vehicle speed. And let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I had a Whataburger for dinner today. Those of you in the States that live in the South, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> good, good hamburger. Okay. Um, all right, you subbed. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, Grant, Mr. Stay Drunk, over from FSGs. You liked and subbed. Awesome. Cooked and eaten breakfast and ready for Sunday. Awesome. Oh, it was the answer to Mark's question, Argzy. Okay. All right, let's check in on our harvesters, make sure they're doing okay. Make sure nobody's broken. So he's only 7% full. That's good. He's already done. I guess I only did one headland for that. It appears that's what's going on. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, tell you what, let's go buy some more harvesters and let's uh, get some more things going on. It's a beef burger, not a hamburger. Ah, uh, Mark, you know what? When I was a little kid, I always thought the same thing. It's like, this isn't ham. All right. 
So we got these two taken care of. I've got a little thing over here to see what else we need to harvest. Uh, barley, sorghum, and wheat. Okay. So none of those are corn headers. Um, I'm going to change my... Whoops. I'm going to change my... Store location. Um, not there. Yes, here. Make sure we've got plenty of room. Oh, there's a grain header right there. Do I have two of them already? I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just buy more if we need to. Okay. So, I have a special header that I modified. That has, that has extra capacity, and I believe it's this one. Sorry, I'm just making sure I'm caught up on uh, chat. I tend to get behind. I'm not careful. Uh, Steel Horse says the one I like best would likely be good for a stream. Thanks, Steel Horse. Yeah, I like them all. I guess I do have a system. I'm just curious to know what you guys think, because I definitely want to factor that in. Oh, I'm going to need more money. Thank you, Cranky. Let's add some more money. Okay. Um, Let's go back. here. Now the reason I'll know it's the right one is because in this setup I have, that's the one right there. See it says 300,000 liters. Um, we're going to do tracks because we can. Oh wait. This is, is this where we do it? Yeah, the set this does all the wheel setups. That's the one I like. This will be number five. North America rear hitch doesn't matter. We'll do the bigger engine setup. Uh, we need the long pipe. Foldable one. I like that. GPS. I don't know that we'll need it, but we'll put it on. And license plate. Oh, yeah, we have Ohio license plates. Awesome. That looks cool. And we'll do. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy two of those in fact I'm going to buy four okay let's see if they all made it here sometimes it up oh, I think one of them ended over at the shop because it ran out of room but that's all right okay so we've got one header here and I think I've got another one somewhere else. I thought it was over there, but... If I don't see it real quick, we'll just go with that. Alright, let's uh, grab a header. And we'll head out... to field three. Hey, Waylon. Good to have you here. How are you doing, buddy? Okay, uh, is this the, the same header? I want to make sure it's the same header. Yeah, they're all the same. Okay. Oh, all of my ha all of my combines are number five because <laughs> I bought them all that way. Oh, I'm not going to get out that way. Um, how do I get out of here? I can do it this way. 
Yeah, Cranky, you're you're one step ahead of me. I appreciate that. <laughs> I can go in and change it. I'll probably do that because it's going to bother me. Oh, we got stuck. There we go. <clears throat> My computer seems to be handling course play just fine so far, so I'm glad that's good. Um, we're going to go around this way. I'm just trying to avoid fences. So we are going to set up our barley harvest next. Oh, FSG, I don't know if you're still in the uh, chat, but I don't know if you noticed the t-shirt I was wearing. But uh, I pulled that out to wear since I knew I was going to be live streaming today. Neil says, Sup, Scott, how are you, buddy? FSG said to pop in. Neil, glad to have you here. Yeah, FSG's here with us. We are doing a mega harvest on Deer Creek. And we might be cheating a little bit to get it all done. All right, here we are. That's right, Cranky. Not cheating, just unrealistic. All right, let's get this guy set up. He'll lift the compound over the fence. <laughs> You know, I've I've done that a lot. You know, maybe I will, because I don't know that I want to drive around like that again. In fact, I may even just teleport it over next time. You know, since we've kind of thrown realism out the door, we might as well. All right, this is, I think, our second biggest field on this map. Okay, two tools. We'll do, I'm gonna do two headlands, I prefer that. We'll start work on headlands, smooth clockwise 7%. We're gonna do lands this time. Automatic. That all looks good. All right, what does that look like? Um, hopefully that doesn't get us in trouble, but we'll nurse it if we need to. Yeah, I mean, it's just because of the shape of this field. I mean, you can make one edge long, but you can't make both. So we'll deal with it. Oh, let's save that. That is field three. Field three, multi harvest. Put it on the longest edge makes nice. Yeah, Norway Pete, that is true. And that's what it defaults to. Um, I have it where it just picks the longest edge. It's it's automatic. I think one's just slightly longer than the other. 
All right. Are you going to be happy? And we don't want a swath. Let's turn that off. Um, I may not be in the right menu. Uh, where am I missing it? Um, combine settings. There it is. Okay. Yes, speed. Thank you, Cranky. Let's get that um, taken care of as well. Um, why are we on KPH again? Is it always on KPH? I only canceled Swath for Headlands. Oh, did I? Oh, I sure did. Thank you. There we go. Hey, it's nice to have you guys looking over my back. Why is this on KPH again? I thought I had this all turned over to miles per hour. Well, let's see what we're doing. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully you can still hear Yeah, you can still hear me. I got a little trigger happy. There we go. Uh, go fast. And... Oh, that was close. If I save it, I can edit it. Still horse? I did not know that. Let me, let me... Let's see. Well, it's still in KPH. That's what's got me confused, because I thought that I set my master settings to uh, miles per hour. Yeah. Is there some other place where I changed that? I'm not going to worry about it, guys. Um... Okay, we've got the course saved. We got it going fast. Let's get the next guy over. He's going 14. He'll be all right. Um, is he done? Why is he just sitting there? Let's see what's going on. Hmm. Is he full? He's not full. All right. Interesting. It just gave up. It's lands. <laughs> All right. Don't give me that. No, it just quit for some reason. It almost feels like my course play freaked out and reset. Maybe that's why it's in KPH. Did my other combines stop? Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, we were just in time to watch that. That was so cool. Yeah, both of the combines stopped on that other course, and I'm not sure why. All right. Let's get some information in front of us. Uh, so you are there. Let's get you moving again. Oh, you think the other combine clashed with it? And you think that's why it stopped? It... If it did clash, then that, that would happen. That's for sure. All right, let's get this guy happy again. Whoops, I did it wrong. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, 
You're, he's happy. All right, so let's go to these guys and let's see what's going on. So I think it looks like we finished Headlands. I wonder if it was this big, uh, you know, th there's this like big arm that comes out and makes the field a weird shape. I wonder if that's what messed it up. Okay, so let's see where we go next. Steel Horse says you have to take the course off the tractor first to edit it. Edit tool is great. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm not gonna worry about it that much, Steel Horse. Um This is our left guy. This is our lefty. Um, this is land, so let's get over here. And that's what I do with in this case sometimes. I don't worry too much about where it was exactly. And I just get it going again. And then come back and get what I missed later on. And in the interest of time, I think that's going to be the best way to go. All right. All right, how are we looking? Course play was set with collisions. Uh, tell me more about that, Norway Pete. What that means and what implications that had for me. Okay, so here's our other guy that needs help. He's still running. And this is this is our field one map harvester. Yeah, here we are. So I'm just gonna set you up next to your buddy over here. Kind of nice that we ha haven't had to unload a harvester yet. And I think that's where we go. Yep. How we doing? Good. Now, interesting. He stopped again. Look at this. Why did he stop again? Course play will stay in the fields. When I set up the course, there were collision points on the field. Do I need to tell it to stay in the field? Is it maybe trying to steer outside the field and it's like getting hung up? Because I know what that's about. Um, avoid driving in fruit activated. Only turn in the field is activated. Allow reverse turn for pathfinding activated. Allow using the pathfinder and turns deactivated. If that sounds like acceptable to everybody, let me know. But I think that'll work, right? It would be a 30 second job to move the paths that cut the corner in the other field. Move the paths that cut the corner. So it's a 30 second job. I, I get, I don't know exactly what that would entail steel horse. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to avoid this section with the weird, um, uh, with the weird, uh, collision in the field. And I think I'm just going to tell it to go over here. Now, does that get us clear? 
kinda. I'm gonna go one more. So that's gonna be my solution, is we're just gonna... We're just gonna avoid the whole issue. Once we get to two million liters, we're done. And uh, we may not even have to do this whole field. Is that a cop out? <laughs> okay, this guy seems to be doing okay. All right, so here's our sunflowers. They're happy. Um, let's go look at our barley guy. Hopefully he's happy. He's very happy, but let's see. I think we need to get, we need to get his partner set up, right? Let's go set up his partner. And we're going to need a header. Look at that nice shiny clean combine, Argzy. Let me see what's going on in chat. Hey, Space Wolf Cup. You had to make lunch first. Well, yeah, that's important, but glad you made it. We're going to buy a header. Let's do that. And I think we got, do we have the 50 footer? I think we have the 50 footer. You know what would be nice is if you could click on something that you already have in your shed and just say, like, buy that again. You know, kind of like on Amazon, right? You can go to, like, your previous purchase and say, buy it again. That would be a nice little mod. Somebody work on that. I, I would make good use of that. There we are. We're going to buy four of these. And I imagine most of these are going to end up at the shop, but we'll, we'll move it over. Could not find, uh, what? Who's getting fuel? We have. I'm going to fuel these guys up. I don't want anybody going for fuel. Or running out of fuel. So you're full. Oh, oh! These guys were out of fuel. Maybe that's why it was, it, it was freaking out. Could it have been? I'll, I'm going to go back in the live stream after we're done and see if that was the problem. Maybe it was just running out of fuel and it was trying to get back. Okay, so we got fuel now. I did not check to see if these guys were full of fuel. Oh, this is the sunflower guy. So this this one wasn't the one that was acting up. Let's see what these other guys are looking like. We got a lot of balls in the air, people. We can we can handle it. Yep, people looking over my shoulder. I think we're good. All the combines have fuel. All right. All right, back to our guy here. Um, did all our headers end up, end up at the shop? I think they did. Um, make sure. Okay. Let's go bring the headers back over. Yeah, I think that's where they are. Well. We showing them. Show everything. Yeah. Um. 
Hmm. Normally it would show a header. Maybe it's in the way. Farmer Ed, you're off to bed. Hey, I appreciate you hanging around. And Farmer Ed, um, I really like that you're live streaming. Um, I enjoyed your live stream uh, today. And I, I know you may have a conflict next weekend, but I, I hope that you'll uh, stream for us again as soon as possible. And guys, uh, you might want to check out um, Farmer Ed's channel. Somebody can put it in the chat. Um, he is our auto drive course guru, and he is doing his development on Stone Valley, and he's going to be uh, streaming it so we can all watch. Rusty, Rusty Money Gaming, you're here. Awesome. Hey, thanks for popping in, even if it's just for uh, a second. Appreciate that. Really like what you're doing on your channel too, Rusty. Let's see. I want to get caught up here. I don't want to be overlooking things. Okay, great. Let's see. Where did this end up? Where's my headers? Should be right here at the shop. They're not showing up. Logo covers the bottom of the fuel gauge. Oh, so you guys couldn't have helped me out. You know, I get it. That's that's just gonna be a problem sometimes. Where are my headers? Can I? I think I can locate them on the map if I do. Oh, I only have three. Oh, I, did I never buy them? I never bought them. I got distracted probably. All right. Let's go buy them. Okay. That definitely got bought. Delivery sp space block, please move another item. To oh, is that what happened to us? So it's just not buying them. Okay. Huh. Never had that particular problem. Did we buy anything? We have one. Oh, it's still blocked. All right, guys. I'm just going to make some more room. All right, let's get it over there. There we go. Now we got it. Oh, that's not the one. This is one we have going. Mark, thanks for putting uh, Farmer Ed's uh, channel link in there. And uh, if you haven't already, we could put Rusty's in there too. Make sure people know how to get to him. Uh, I am in the wrong way. There we go. Alright, now I think I'm just going to teleport over this time. We're going to teleport over to Field 3. Um, teleport, field three. All right. And let's load up this map so we can see where, where to start. This is field three. And let's see. It's right there.
Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Pleasant View Farms. I do have a lot going on. In fact, I would uh, I would hazard to say uh, I have too much going on, but the chat has been instrumental in helping me out. I think this is my start over here. Why am I not seeing that? Um, maybe it is a. I think, I think it's ahead of me. I am here. Yeah, I just need to keep going. Man, these fields are so big. And we got Pleasant View Farms link in there too. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. Here we go. Um and then we'll get you going f fast. What did I do wrong? Oh, I think I was... Oh, I think I was too far ahead. Yeah, I was. I was too far ahead. And it would take forever to get set up. I missed your stream, Pleasant View. I am so sorry, bud. I will I will catch the replay and I will catch your next one. I really like catching your streams. Okay, he's happy now. Let's go fast and let's set our speed. That's good. Whole new meeting to beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Let me, uh, I need to get caught up here. There's a lot of chat. Uh, check my owned items, says old Cranky. Oh, was that regarding the me trying to locate the headers that I hadn't bought? Uh, okay, I think I'm caught up. Awesome. Hey, guys, I know for some of you it's really late. Um, I really appreciate you hanging in and watching the stream. Really enjoy the company. Um, how are we doing on time? Yeah, we're about halfway done. Okay, so we finally got our right side on barley. Let's, let's take a step back here and let's see what we've got going on. Okay. So our sunflowers are going swimmingly. FSG's uh, proposed straight up and down is certainly getting it done without complications. I th I'll admit, FSG, if you're still here, that putting uh, lands on this rather complicated shape was probably a bad move. Um, I don't even know what's going on here. I'm just going to let that run. We'll figure out what's left and we'll get it done. I vaguely recall that I had the same problem when I ran lands on this field uh, in the past because it, it it has to go back, it has to go through things and then come back and pick up like this little straggler over here and then you add lands to it, it just gets really complicated. So anyway, I kind of did myself in on that. All right, this guy's going okay. Oh, so he's already doing, he's already doing rows. This guy needs to go around one more time. Okay, let's get our sorghum going. We've got another hour. So are we going to finish anything? We're definitely going to finish sunflowers. I think we're going to get that done. We might get this done. That's kind of iffy. This, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know that we're going to get sorghum done. Maybe we'll get one of the two fields done. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Any harvesters getting full? Cranky, we're going to check. 
Um, so I've got two fields of sorghum because it doesn't yield horribly well. Um, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to mess things up. I got too much going on already, but I have a little spreadsheet over here that I set up show, you know, telling me how many liters of what we need, uh, what the potential yield is for each field and what the yield per acre is for each crop type. And I kind of made my best. I kind of laid it, laid things out as best as I thought we could get there. We're not going to get there, but I'm going to save this. I'll, you know, in case we come back to this, um, we'll have it. Hold on just a second. I'm just going to check a couple things here. Make sure we still got a good connection. All right. Excellent. Okay. Let's set up sorghum. Let's set up field five. It's close by. It's also the bigger field. Tell you what, with my new PC, this course plays running great. And what I'm basing that off of is my old PC, it was a much older generation PC. I mean, it was capable, but it almost couldn't handle this map. And then I started throwing course play at it, and it actually crashed once, and it choked a couple of times. So I'm kind of impressed that we're keeping up. All right. So we've got this guy and that guy. All right, let's get some some headers for this i'm just gonna buy these one at a time so we don't run out of room like we did before yep All right, and let's teleport over there so we don't have to deal with fences. Me? <sighs> so, um, I don't drink whiskey that much anymore, but I did pour myself some for tonight. Normally I stream like in the middle of the day and it's a little too, <laughs> a little too early for that. Okay, let's do some teleportation to field, what do we say? Field five it was, right? Yes. Field five. Bearson Gaming, welcome in, buddy. Good to have you here. We're on Deer Creek and we're harvesting like crazy people. And we're uh, not being very realistic but we are harvesting just crazy bushels of all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, Cranky, let's see if there's any harvesters getting full. I don't think I don't think we're close yet. 7%, 29, 22, 26. Oh, look at you. I think the problem there is the trees are too, that tree's too close and it just got snagged, just got held up. All right, where do we want you to go? I don't even know where to put you. You're the left. Oh, sorry, my, all my monitors just reset. Okay. Let's go. So you're right. It's hard to see the direction of those arrows. I wish they had it a little more obvious. Is that just because I'm old? Okay. So where's, where's lefty? Is this all right stuff? Okay, here's some fresh stuff we can put them at. I'm not going to get too bothered by... Uh, by things. Um, looks like I might have had a little bit of a glitch. Are we still okay? 
You have the same problem, Cranky, seeing those arrows? Yeah, I wish they just made them a little bigger or had like a, a you know, a different color on the tip or something. That would be awesome. All right, we're going the right direction now. And you're only at, he's only at 26%, so he's fine. Let's see who else. There's at 35%, 30%. I think we're good. Mark says, I thought you could change the size of the nodes. Mark, I hope you're right. If somebody can confirm that or um, tell me where to go, if that's true, I'll, I'll do that right now. So Cranky and I can both benefit from that. Okay. So let's set up our sorghum. I think this is going to be the last set of harvesters we're going to get going. It's, a, it's getting a little late. I don't know that we could, you know, get things going and let them run long enough to really benefit. And I think we've got our hands full <laughs> with everything here. Because in a while here, we're going to have to start emptying harvesters. Should have arrows like auto drive. Cranky, that would be better if, you, if it had the arrows in between the nodes like it does in auto drive. I agree. Let's tell the course play folks to put that on their upgrade list. All right. Um, look at that one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we'll have eight courses going. Awesome. Well, I've got some, got some drift. That's, I have a brand new joystick or a controller and it's already drifting. Um, and I have a dead zone in there already. I think it's 5%. Okay. Two tools, two headlands. Headland smooth clockwise, 7%. We're going to leave this, this one up down because this one's not just a big rectangle. Looks good. Oh, I hit the wrong one. That's going to have to go again. There we go. Okay, leave the drifting for racing games. I agree, Mark. No drifting needed here. Um, let's save this course. This is field five. Okay. All right, let's make you go fast. And that's looking good. And how fast are you going? That looks pretty good. I guess, is that a global setting? I didn't think it was. Or maybe it just keeps the last setting and I bought these, so it just copied them over. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. All right, let's get our final guy. And I'm going to just do that by a header. You know how when you have the store deliveries, it, it adds that delivery cost of two and a half percent. I went into the XML and actually changed that percent to zero so that it didn't charge me, but I have since updated this mod and I got rid of that. Whoops, aren't the chevrons already arrow? Yeah, they are still horse. They are arrow shaped, but for um, people with not great vision like myself, it's really hard to see 
Um, really hard to see it. What am I doing wrong here? I'm just not lined up. There it goes. All right, let's teleport over to five. Okay. And so I think our sunflowers are going to both get close to about 50%. So I think it'd be a good time to go over, get our truck and unload those combines. while we're here Let's see what we got that looks good go fast right first go oh hopefully it just goes yes good yeah still horse let me show you so they are arrows, but if I'm out here, like, especially like at that angle, they just look like square blobs. You can't really see the points. So you have to get, first of all, you have to get like, you know, an, a, a side angle on them. And then you got to get close enough to where you can see what's going on. Anyway, that's just the challenge. It's not a deal breaker. Okay. Um, let's go, let's go empty out these, uh, these harvesters. Where's my truck? I have a lot of tractors. There we go. Oh, I went first person. Now it's gonna it's not gonna like me for that. Probably shouldn't have done that, but uh that was a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of that. With all these course plays going on, that's a non-trivial thing for the PC, I think. All right, where are they? They're down here. Maybe course play saves my units and doesn't update till the end of this. You know, still horse, it could be something weird like that. There are some like little, I won't even say nuances, just like little inconsistencies or things that you think would intuitively do something or instinctively would do something different. I need to sort out my addiction, Mark. The reason why is I had this thing kind of in a similar high production mode. So I had like dedicated tractors for dedicated jobs. Now, so let's see if he's going to stop or if he's going to keep going. I bet he's going to stop. Oh, he's not. Okay. And I'm going to set up my... My cruise control. I think it's for 15 or 14. Let's see. Let's try that. Nope. 15. 16. So yeah, I had trackers for each purpose, and I had multiple versions. So I had like two Deutzfar trackers, and all they did was fertilize, solid fertilizer. And then I had like two John Deere uh, 8RXs, and all they did was plant corn, and so on. Okay, I think we get him all emptied. Yep. All right, let's go get our other guy. So 
So that's 113,000 liters. So we're going to get even a little more out of this one. And so I don't think we're going to hit our 2 million liter uh, target for sunflowers. But we'll get closer. So guys, I think what I'm going to do as far as figuring out what what I want to live stream on a consistent basis is I'll, I'll get a straw poll together and I can't post it on YouTube. And I mean, I could post it here, but we don't have, I'd like to get as many people participating as possible. So I'll post it on Discord, on my Discord server. And for those of you who haven't joined my Discord, we'd love to have you there. Uh, you can, I don't have a Discord command set up in Nightbot yet, but um, Mark, you can either put a, a, a link there or probably what's easiest is you can just go to the description for this or any other um, video of mine, or you can go to my channel. I have an invite link there. Let's see, did I? So I was talking and not paying attention. Did I empty this guy completely? Uh, looks like I did. Because now I have 244,000. Mark Thor's got the uh, Discord invite there, so just click that so you can join Discord, and I'll put the poll up um, early this week. Frankie, you said yes. You said yes to... I'm trying to see what question you answered. Were you saying yes to Steel Horse? Let's see how we're doing on Sunflowers now. Oh, the harvests are being empty, Cranky. Thank you. You are my Radar O'Reilly. I appreciate that. Uh, sunflowers. Haven't made it yet. Yeah, we're going to we're not going to make it, but we're going to get pretty dang close. All right. Um shut you up. So that's the sorghum guy. He's those guys aren't even close to full yet. That is our barley at twenty four percent. Barley at thirty seven. I mean, they're still doing fine. Canola's at thirty three and thirty four. Okay. Still horse says I find it bizarrely uncomfortable watching you drive on the crop. <laughs> you know what, still horse I. I usually don't, but since we're not being realistic, I'm just kind of getting it done, and I'm not really being very uh, mindful of that, so. I guess I, uh, I feel the same way, but I'm just kind of throwing that out the door <laughs> for tonight. Oh, the whiskey I'm drinking is, um, uh, Ardbeg. It's a uh, uh, Scotch whiskey with quite a bit of water. Okay. What are we doing on time? We got another forty minutes. So. 
I mean, we could... No, we're not going to set up another... We're not going to set up another one. We're going to mind what we have here. I'm going to go over to my canola. Because that's our field that's kind of messed up. I'll make sure FSG knows that he was right not to use lands. Oh, we're doing a swath. Hold on. Let's just turn that off. A little annoying. Cross swath. Whoops. Deactivated. Let's see, is there anybody else doing that? He's probably also doing it. Nope, he's good. All right. This is where we're going to have to clean things up. And let's see where we are. Uh, okay, he's still, he still thinks he knows what he's doing, so that's good. Let's take an over, a overhead view of what's going on here. Okay, they're kind of getting it done. I don't know what this guy's doing over here. I think... So I think he's made it through, and he's thinking he needs to come back over here and clean up. So here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to commandeer this guy and manually pick all this up. That way, number one, I have something to do. Instead of just cycling through harvesters. Let's see. Is that the one we... Nope, we haven't selected it. I think it's... There he is. Oh, wait. He was... Uh, he did have this little piece to go. All right, let's see what he does. I think, I thought he was going around the uh, field. He may actually be still in his own mind, in his right mind. Okay, I think he's doing all right. We're gonna we're gonna leave him alone. Still, horse says I get it. Just surprised. It made me feel weird. Must be playing too much farms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. All right. So there's still 16 of you hanging around. I really appreciate that. I know it's been a long day. I, if you're like me, I mean, I, I think I, uh, I woke up late and had lunch and then went in for Argzy's, uh live stream and uh, then FSG's and then my own. So I've been uh, pretty much all I've done today other than go buy some dinner. Okay, um, so we're going to leave him alone. He's he's still doing something right. Hey, December Farms. Good to have you here, buddy. We're streaming a little later than usual this time. Um, but I don't mind if you guys don't mind. Let's look at our levels. You know what? Kind of how you didn't like me driving on the crop steel horse. I can't stand seeing this guy just just haphazardly just sitting in the middle of the road. So we're going to drive him back home. You're hoping to catch it early, but had to start early dinner and get the grill going. Awesome. What did you grill tonight? The trailer. So this is an 8R, or is that a 7? An 8R, and I, all my 8Rs were doing was plowing. Oh, and I know why they were plowing. I was actually in the process of merging some fields. I'm not going to worry about that, but that's why these guys were over here. 
couple of steaks, burgers, and hot dogs. Nice, the trifecta. Yeah, I'm kind of like you, uh, December Farms. When I get the grill all fired up and running well, I just grill like everything I have, eat what I can, and can always reheat the, the rest later. Especially like the hot dogs and hamburgers. I haven't seen Argzy in the chat, so I don't know if he's still around. He he may have gotten on with his day, but uh, if I've got a if I've got a sprayer, we will wash. We'll wash a vehicle. Yeah, here I've got one. Yep, easy leftovers for tomorrow. You know it. Yeah, December Farms. I had a uh, I had a burger, but uh, I had Water Burger make it for me, and it was delicious. All right. Really bad buffering. Is that true? Um, my ex my connection says it's really good. So. Um, it may be on your end. Sometimes if you'll refresh the page, that helps out. But yeah, it looks like I'm doing okay. It's on, okay. Good on your end, okay. I know you guys will let me know if uh, things start going badly. But I went through my, I went through my stream checklist this time, which includes uh, running a speed test, Making sure I've got a good connection. Okay, I think it might be time to unload some harvesters. You're do all right, what are you doing? Oh, he's just he's just getting around. You know, this sometimes this happens to me with sorghum because the sorghum is is cut so high and the color of the stalks are not far off from the you know the full fruit sometimes i think that it's should be harvesting the crop and and it doesn't look like it is but it already has 20 percent, 28 on barley 42 on barley all right let's go take care of these guys oh okay so he finished so um i'm gonna turn him off and we'll come back we'll commandeer him and um we'll clean up that field but let's go empty out the barley harvesters where is my truck there you are hey barley that is in field one Belief. So this is one of those maps. In fact, I might have been the first FS22 map to have anhydrous on it. And I, the reason I remember that is Argzy was he was an early player of this map but i think he previewed it and he worked with the guys at ohio central ohio mapping who made this map in getting that in and hydras working and getting the toolbars and the and the, the the tanks the and the tanker trailers and all that running do you guys remember that Let's see, did you just finish a, he just finished a land, I think. So let's go find our other guy. 
Where's our other guy? He's, oh, he just cut into the, that new, and that's where he's headed, I bet. So let's just go that direction. Seal horse, I'm going to try not to drive on the crop, okay? Video is about two minutes behind the chat for you. Still horse, you can, uh, I don't know what um, platform you're on. If you're on mobile, you can just click the little live button. If it's gray, it'll turn red again and catch you up. Or you can just refresh your YouTube. That might catch you back up. You thought it was Collins modding. You know, I'll double check, Cranky. I, um, I've got, I think I've got their itch, uh, itch page up. So I'll check that. I want to make sure I have it correct. Cause I, I put central Ohio in my description and if that's wrong, I need to update it. I, I didn't test it, but you can type um, exclamation map, and it'll tell you the map. I updated it. I'll just make sure I've got the modern name correct. Oh, I'm right, Cranky. Okay. Thank you for uh, for checking my assumptions, though. I appreciate that. Yeah, Still Horse, if you just, like, refresh your web page, uh, that'll get it done. Okay, I think I modded these so that they unload pretty quick, that the combines do. Yeah, he's already unloaded. Yeah, December Farms, that was the other thing I was saying, is you can click that little dot in the lower left-hand corner of the video frame. And if you're behind, it'll be gray. You click it, then the little dot will turn red and catch you up. Let's see. I think I'm just going to wait here because that other combine is going to be over here pretty soon. Is he still making his way? How far along are you? Uh, yeah, he's got a little bit, a little bit more to go. We'll just let him run. Okay, let's go. Let's go get this guy, and let's clean up this hot mess that I made. Now, which direction is he? So that's going right. So. We're going to leave that to our other combine because I think he's going to capture that. I'm just going to start over here on like the far east side. Awesome, you're all caught up now. Wonderful, Steel Horse. Making donuts while you wait. <laughs> Oh, also, Steel Horses, long way from Texas to Oz and all the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, you're already in tomorrow. All you Aussies and Kiwis. So, do people from Tasmania, like, distinct... Um, differentiate themselves from or do they just call themselves Aussies always wondered that because I, I guess it's just another province is that what you call them of Australia but, 
Tasmanians. They are Aussies. Okay. Yeah, we've got we've got quite a mess here. Let's just uh let's just cut this. And we can go full speed. Since I'm driving. They call themselves Islanders and, and you mainlanders. Okay, that makes sense. I mean where I live in Texas there are there are several islands. They're like just off the coast. They're almost they're like barrier islands. Uh they don't really, they don't really distinguish, uh, differentiate themselves from mainlanders, as far as I know. But you've got like Galveston Islands, probably the most well known and most populated. And then you've got Mustang Island. You've got North Padre and South Padre Island. And I think there's a, a, I don't know if there's an Aransas Island. Or, there's several. You don't think about Texas having islands, but we do. Let's see. Space Wolf Cub, you were indecisive about your driving direction in the big truck, leaving you to drive donut. Oh, that kind of donuts. <laughs> Sorry. I was wondering why you were saying that. I was thinking donuts like eating donuts, like the food. <laughs> I appreciate you clarifying that. And I'm sorry I didn't I didn't pick up on that. That's partly my fault for just getting behind in the chat. Stillhorse says interstate rivalry is a thing until a Kiwi enters the conversation. And how does that change things when the Kiwi enters the conversation? Are they just so small they don't really have uh, different states? I guess they've got like the North Island and South Island thing going on. Then we become Aussies. <laughs> oh, got you. There you go. Then, then you get patriotic and uh, and uh, combine your forces. All right, I'm not going to worry about getting every drop of this. Yeah, Texas has a lot of things you may not know. We have mountains um, in far west Texas, in the western panhandle. We have a national park called Big Bend State Park. Uh, it actually borders uh, Mexico, but um, I think the highest peak is out there. It's like close to 10,000 feet, 9,000 something. Cranky, I love that you're feeding me fun facts. You know me, I love fun facts. Tasmania is home to the oldest golf course in the world and has 69 golf. I did not know that. I would have thought that Scotland had the oldest golf course. How is that? Wow, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to like Wikipedia that and uh, read a little more. Here's some other interesting 
geography, Texas, fun facts. One of the darkest skies in the Northern Hemisphere is in Texas. It's also in West Texas on a mountain called Mount Davis. And there's actually an observatory up there because it's one of the darkest skies. And I've been out there a couple of times and it is amazing what you can see with the naked eye when there's absolutely no light pollution. Yeah, there's not. And Cranky, that's out in uh, oil territory. And there are actually like mandates where the oil companies can't run floodlights at night in certain areas. So there's actually like corridors uh, that have to stay dark. And they will find the oil companies if they if they pollute with their floodlights because they're you know drilling or servicing at night yeah the sky is so dark you can actually see satellites fly across like they look like slow moving meteors like the Iridium satellite constellation, they're low enough and, that you can see them and they move fast. That was kind of cool. More countries should do that. Yeah, well, you know, I live in the city, so light pollution is always going to be a thing. Can't get away from that. But out there, I mean, it's one of the least least populated areas of the of the United States. Yeah, the outback is like that. I, I'm sure it is steel horse. Yep. Um, what is that? Um, that Alice Alice Springs. It's like right in the dead center of Australia. Um, that's got to be a pretty dark sky. Oh, Cranky's feeding me some good stuff. In the UK, a small boy took a major supermarket to court over light pollution and won. Good for him. That's awesome. You know, it is kind of... Uh, Um, what am I trying to say? It's interesting that um, the oil companies are held to that because it does affect their bottom line and oil companies have a huge lobby power nationally, but especially in Texas. But um, that is one thing that's that's uh, they stand by. Something that helps is the observatory is actually owned by the University of Texas, which is a public school. So it's basically owned by the state. So um, so they have an interest in keeping this guy's dart. Okay. This field is looking a whole lot better. And it looks like we've got maybe another 15 minutes to go. I'll say we'll wrap this up at the top of the hour. And so given that, I think what we'll do is we'll start bringing in our harvest, putting it in the silo, and just kind of see where we stand. And then whether or not we do a series on this, I'll save this game. And when we feel like it, we'll come back to this. And I, because I think in one more, one more round like this, I think we can have, I think we can meet our 2 million, um, goal. Okay. We still got a little bit more to go. Okay. He finished. So we'll clean him up. But before we do, yeah, Cranky, I, it's kind of a, it's kind of a personal 
goal that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with or without you guys. But if you guys are, are gonna enjoy it, then I'll definitely bring you along. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this guy here. Let's. Okay, so these guys are done. Oh, those are the sunflowers. Let's get them emptied first. Oh, got to take them off course play. Space Wolf Cub, you're here for it. So, yeah, you've got the word space in your handle. So if, if that's like a, an affinity for you, I'd love to hear it because I'm not like a huge astronomy buff, but my father is. So I've always kind of grown up around it. And um, also I'm I'm always I've always been kind of a sciencey nerd. Um, and furthermore, my brother in law, he is um, CEO of their they have a family company. Actually, it's this company right here. They make salsa. Um, you know, pecani sauces, salsas, barbecue sauces, and their company was on the board of visitors for that observatory. So we would get invited to go out, look through the telescopes. We could talk to all the astronomers. It was really cool. Um, have I ever seen screenshots of the Patriot sprayer I put? Mark, I have not, and I, I apologize. I know you're working on that, and in fact, um, I've still got some edited mods from you that I have not um, looked into, and that is my fault. I I don't know if I said this, but I've been somewhat ill all week, I'm not feeling well at all, and that has really bogged me down. I I was supposed to have two videos out this week, and I haven't done either of them so i apologize mark I, I i will get caught up i am feeling better today let's go ahead and take care of this since uh we're here you're an enthusiast okay not very knowledge but you've learned about astronomy astrophysics but awesome that's cool Yeah, just be careful. If you start talking about astronomy stuff, I'll probably go off on that tangent, as I did. <laughs> so, I apologize to those who uh, aren't uh, aren't enthusiasts. Okay, I think we got you emptied for the most part. Oh, don't drive over it. Yeah, I think we'll have enough time to empty out what we have and then kind of take account of what we got and then we'll probably just wrap it up then. Oh, yeah. Uh, an Aussie movie called The Dish. Oh, Still Horse. Yeah, I... I won't, I won't even say I'm familiar with that film, but I am aware of it. And, and um, it's kind of on my to-watch list. I think there was a YouTuber that reviewed it. Did a... What is this guy doing? Oh, he's just finishing out things. Let's get in here. Did I catch him? Uh, I didn't. I'm just going to let him turn around. Thanks, Space Wolf Club. I am feeling better. So we're 44% full now. Let's see how full this guy is. If he doesn't have that much, I'm not going to wait around for him. 16%. I'm not going to wait around for him. He's he's headed off in some direction. Let's go empty out what we have. We'll let them keep working. They're almost done. And then we'll get the rest of our sunflowers. And then we'll go... Uh, see how much sorghum we have, get them emptied out. I 
I think I have course play set up on this map, but I haven't even checked it out since I uh, started this up today. Haven't really needed to use it a whole lot. Was Sam Neill in that film? Oh, I like Sam Neill. He's the Jurassic Park guy, right? And he's done other stuff, but that's kind of his big one. It's on Aussie Netflix. Oh, you know, the movie, the YouTube movie reviewer, she is an Aussie. And maybe that's why she was doing it. So I need to make sure that I that I can get access to it. I guess I can always just rent it. I'm not opposed to that. Okay, 265,000 barley. We've still got a long way to go on barley. You posted the screenshots on my Discord. Oh, okay. Mark, I have... Then if, if that was like within the last day or so, um, I haven't seen them yet. But I, I will. And if they're from longer ago, then I may have just seen them and just completely forgotten. Yeah, this week's kind of been a struggle. Been doing a lot of sleeping. Um, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna go get sunflowers. You just did it now. Okay, great. I'll I'll definitely look them, look them up. And Mark, I think you you had kind of talked about, and I had also kind of confirmed with you that we were gonna harvest cotton on this map I had forgotten that we're not doing any cotton on this map so um, whoops whoops again but we'll do cotton maybe we'll do it on um, Stone Valley um, can you guys see a couple of harvesters around here where am I Oh, still got a long ways to go. Gosh, this map is big. You don't think I'll know any other actors? Probably not. Sam Neill, he is... What nationality is he? Is he Aussie or is he Scottish? I can't remember. He's not American. This guy may still be running. I doubt it though. Yep. Netflix Canada doesn't have the dish. Interesting. Well, the U.S. may not either then. I haven't really seen a lot of recent movies. I'm not a big movie goer. A lot of times I'll re-watch a favorite movie as opposed to just um, checking out a new movie. I did go see the new Top Gun movie, and it was good. Cranky, you out of here? Let me see. Who's out of here? Mark says, cheers, Cranky BB. Are you just saying cheers, or did I miss something? I'm, I think I'm behind on my chat. 
Oh, I oh, you're just saying thanks. Okay. Yeah, cuz I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it looks awesome. Oh yeah, I know who BB is. I know who Black Book is. I call him I I just call him BB. That's what I get for like coming in late to people's chats between each other trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm just going to shut you down. And I'm gonna shut you down. Let's go dump these sunflowers. Time's looking okay. We've got about five more minutes. Uh, you're empty. And I've shut you down. Let's go empty. So that's only 92,000. Yeah, sunflowers just don't yield very well. At all. Their price, price per liter usually looks pretty good, but when you factor in the yield per acre, it's not a great crop. We're going to make oil out of it, though. It can be very profitable. Yeah, Cranky. It did have return to start. I think that was just part of the, you know, course play for FS19. I think got a little out of hand and unwieldy, and the I think the the code was a little too spaghettified, and they just had to simplify and kind of normalize things. I think that's just one of the things that didn't make it. There used to also be a way where you could load up like multiple courses at once. Like you could say, go harvest field two and then go harvest field three and then go harvest field four. I don't think you can do that anymore either. <laughs> you want to refuel, repair and repark my fleet. Sorry about that space uh, wolf cub. Um, I wish I could tell you that I normally don't do this, but, uh, although I, I do try to keep my equipment clean. I'm just not doing a very good job of it now, just because we're in like maximum effort, maximum output mode. But I am pretty notorious for just leaving equipment all over the place. I'm not even that way in real life. I'm just that way when I play. Okay, we're gonna go empty. Sorghum, we said, right? What do we have left? Sorghum's 52 and 49, awesome. And then that's our barley. It's almost done. We're gonna leave him alone. Barley's still cranking away. You're, yep. Okay, let's go get our sorghum. And then, uh, yeah, I think the timing will work out pretty well. And we can get on with our days. What a great day of live streaming. For those of you who liked and subscribed, thank you so much. I'm still a pretty new channel, so that helps me tremendously. If you choose to do that. Um, I'm on the wrong side of the sorghum field, guys. I sure am. Oh, they're almost done. Look at that. Let's go get them.
I don't know if it's just me because I have my own channel, but in the two and a half months that I've started my YouTube channel, I've seen a lot of uh, new YouTubers start uh, farm sim channels, or I've seen, you know, ones that maybe started a little before me that are kind of hitting, you know, that 500,000 mark. And I'm kind of discovering them for myself. And it's just been so cool. Like, discover people like Mighty Mike Farms and Pleasant View Farms and December Farming and Rusty. I mean, I, I'm, 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 I think I'm, oh, and Steel Horse, you're getting into it. I mean, I, I just think it's great. There's almost like so much now that I have to kind of like make time to catch it all. And I do because I really enjoy it. All right, this guy's done. Let's just go get him. David George, welcome in. That happens to be my brother. <laughs> you just caught the tail end of my stream. We're just wrapping up. But we had a we had a great group today. Dave, I'm drinking a little Ardbeg tonight. Special occasion. Awesome, Steel Horse. Thanks. Subs, subs are really the thing that I think helps me the most. Six, 160,000 liters out of him. So I'm sure we'll get something very similar from this guy. And we will catch him on as he comes back across this row. I think that's his final row. Um, he's going to get in the way. Space Wolf Cubs, uh, there's a lot of good FS content. Yeah, which is why you like going from stream to stream today. Agreed. In fact, there were so many, I, I couldn't catch them all today. Um, but I am going to go. They'll definitely be on my watch list for... Um, Replay. All right, we'll just back into this. All right. Seven hours of streams next weekend. That would be awesome if we can if we can do that. I'm sure I'm sure we could line up even more than that if we you know could make everything align or you know be purposeful about it. So I don't normally stream this late, but for those of you who are here, tell me, you know, is this the best time for you to catch one of my streams? Or can you, you know, catch it earlier in the day um, just as well? Because I know, um, you know, some people just can't catch it at certain times of the day. And so, I'm trying to find different times of different days to stream just so I can, you know, make it more uh, convenient for people, you know, at least some of the time. 
you need to eat also. Yeah, but you know, you can eat while you watch. I can eat while I live stream if you don't mind watching me chew food. Time was okay for you, Mark? Okay, good. And for you too, Still Horse. Good. Yeah, b being that's a little later, I, I, I would think it would be a little easier for you. At least on the weekend, right? Black Book says your afternoon on weekends and after s your afternoon on weekends and after seven weekdays. Okay. And Cranky's getting drunk while he watches. <laughs> That's a good plan. Okay, guys, we're bringing it up, bringing in the final load for today. See what we've got. And we're done. Okay, let's save the game. We're in a little bit late than what I thought we'd do, but I'm okay with it if you guys are. Let's kind of look at our final tally. All right. Um, Barley, we are about to cross... Let's see. Did it all filter in? Yeah, it immediately does. Uh, not immediately. Just make sure. Got some clock going. Okay. So we're almost right at a million now for barley. We have another sorghum field to, to cut, to pick, to harvest. So we've got a million there, a million there. Canola will probably get up to a million with what's left in the harvesters. Sunflowers, we are really close. We'll knock that out easily. Soybeans, we got some work to do. Oats and sorghum, we got some work to do. Man, okay. We're over halfway there, I would say, folks. Okay. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but uh, it's been a long day for me. <laughs> it's been a good one. And I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Um, and thank you for liking and subscribing. And I will catch you next time. I am going to have a new Renabu video out early this week. And also um, one for the uh, the old equipment on uh, Stone Valley. So look for those this week. Um, you guys take care. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now.